Hello and welcome back. So as promised in this very first part we'll try to look at what New York subway is and if there are any problems we can find on Google uh, then we will try to frame some questions that we can probably try and answer with the data set we have in BigQuery. So the very first thing we can do is look at the New York subway uh, website. So this is the website and here if you click on one of these maps already opened it here this is the map and here we can see that we have detailed information about what routes are there we can also see that uh, the routes are color coded as well as they have letters such as a c e we have the timings we have the station names and lots of information uh, lots of good information that we have and this information is uh, we are going to have to refer to this back and forth when we are trying to answer a question. Let's say if we have a question, if we try to formulate a question, uh, how does a person, uh, what is the best time for a person to get from, let's say, Woodhaven Boulevard to uh, Times Square? So what would, what are the trains available? What is the first train? What is the last train? When is the uh, Russia? When is the traffic the least? Like uh, less number of people in each of the cars and so on so uh, those type of questions we can frame let's now look at uh, what problems are this i've done this google search and uh, here are some hits i've already opened some of the pages and here they are new york subway system has faced a variety of problems and these are some of the problems aging infrastructure delays in disruptions in service so we will start making notes of this uh, so the first one is aging aging infrastructure then we have delays uh, in addition to accessibility so wheelchair access so we can maybe find out uh, what uh, what stations have wheelchair access accessibility following that security so if there is crime if, the, if we do have this data in the data set, then we may be able to look at, uh, try to find what stations have uh, more safety issues as compared to others. So we can add that safety and, and security. Next, we can look at the funding and budget. I doubt this would be there but uh, let's add it here funding and budget if we have this information we can try to uh, use that and next let's look at this side and this side uh, the, in here we have 19 evidence-based solutions uh, we'll see what those are we won't read the entire post but just look at the headings improved image control image improved signal controls so let's add that improved signal controls uh, and maybe that would help prevent delays and if the data set has this information on what type of signaling so here as you can see there is something called as fixed block signaling uh, so let's copy that and add it here maybe there's some other type of signaling um, that's available and that may help us and here as you can see there are different types of cars a b cars uh, so i do not know what these are but uh, there is something called as a b car so car types car types and we can add these letters a b maybe that's the route we saw here a b cars as in uh, this uh, the letters a b here so this maybe this is the a and b cars or those are the routes so may, maybe it's something different uh, automated on arrival announcements that that's something new as uh, so, uh, automated arrival announcements if a station has that that may be an upgrade safe uh, spacious platforms so area how much area does each of the stations have uh, and platforms and if if the data set has that information it will help us uh, find maybe how many passengers a station can handle at a time safety we already looked at accessibility we looked at that 
Wi-Fi service. So a free Wi-Fi in all New York City subway stations. So looks like there is free Wi-Fi, uh, 4G Wi-Fi on subway stations. Uh, if the data set has any information on that, we may be able to find it. And let's look at the date when this was. So this is back in 2019. So it's it's uh, a little old than. So maybe this is not the current state of affairs right now, but we still can use this information. So different types of cars: special cars, modular cars, open cars. And we can add that to here. Special modular open cars and i think that's all artwork so maybe cosmetic fixes maintenance so maintenance uh, artwork uh, etc so you see those uh, paintings on the walls on the station maybe it's uh, talking about that and that's I think that's that's what we have auto pay. How how many stations have auto pay? Auto pay and congestion pricing. All right, so that that's good enough. We'll move on to this next story, which is crime anxiety and the story of New York sub city subway. Uh, let's see if we can find anything here. Uh, what what did you learn about the disconnect between these? Uh, crime is up. So if I think this is a, a primarily talking about safety issues and We already have that point listed here safety and security Let's move on to the next one So this this one is talking about why is the subway service in New York getting worse and this is uh, This is pretty old 2017 uh, and so maybe all these programs are already fixed by now but we'll still uh, we can check uh, how many delays. So in 2017, the delays were uh, 70,000 per month. And if we have data that is more recent, uh, then maybe we would be able to say uh, that the delays have reduced or delays are more. So in 2012, there were only 2,800 delays. So that's Again, something to we can compare with. Next, let's look at what other information we have. Uh, there's uh, there is parking, uh, parking, then free bus service. So, uh, how many stations? So the parking space for stations. So parking near station. If you drive down to a station, maybe you park your car there and then. Uh, aboard your train so is there enough parking and if we keep going uh, 80 10 percent more riders so we maybe we can find how many riders so we'll, we'll start framing some questions uh, the first is uh, first question we can ask is delay we can talk about delays of uh, what are the number of delays delays per month uh, per month uh, recent so in the recent latest uh, latest year and uh, because we haven't looked at the data set yet we do not know what year we are talking about and uh, why does the state and not the city run the subway all right so that that's I think that's good from that uh, post. Let's look at this one. Study shows New York subways have a pollution problem. Uh, that is something new. Well, let's and this is dated. Let's see what they, this is 2021. So this is fairly new uh, post. And if we keep reading through this, we'll try to find out what the reasons could be for this. Uh, uh, pollution and here it says that strongly suggests ambient particulate matter is not a likely source and continual grinding of the train wheels against the rails electricity collecting shoes and diesel suit emissions from maintenance locomotives are important sources so what we'll do is we'll write this 
in here uh, pollution and if we can have some direct or indirect data on this maybe we uh, would be able to try to find locations that cause that may cause uh, may contribute to this pollution part and uh, i think that that's that's what what's there so let's keep moving here is another one subway crime so that's again talking about crime and here what we have is how total number of stations and miles of track uh, that that is some uh, good information uh, we can say find number numbers and we have these many stations and in our data set we can check to see if we have the same number of stations if we have more we have less uh, so that that'll tell us if uh, how things are changing again uh, transit is up by 40 percent and this article is dated 22 so this is fairly recent and up by 40 percent that's a very big increase uh, crime in transit is up by 40 percent and this is after covid uh, that is something we need to remember uh, where is the safety and security we'll add this here and i will try to see if, if we have any data on this I will we maybe we'll be able to get some additional information out robberies are up and uh, and so on so october spike transit crime governor's risk all right so the, this is all about um, the safety issues next new york subways accessibility problem so there's accessibility problem we looked at the wheelchair access that that was one let's find out what other problems uh, are listed here uh, out of out of service elevators right so that that's another thing uh, where the uh, accessibility we had added a point of accessibility so here we can add wheelchair then elevators those are used and then apart from that of course chairs so as you can see for emergency elevators are needed and if they have chairs maybe that's what uh, this is referring to a handful of uh, wheelchair uh, into an evacuation chair and so wheelchair access elevators they are important uh, here we have some numbers uh, according to new york city mayor's office for people with disabilities there are nine to eight uh, so nine hundred twenty eight thousand people with di disabilities living in the city including hundred thousand wheelchair users and that's not counting these so uh, uh, so access is accessibility is a um, uh, is an important topic, uh, and the station should have uh, uh, should have uh, ways to kind of help uh, help people move from one point to other uh, via different ways. For example, elevators, and there I think for wheelchair, uh, if there is a ramp, so let's add that here. Uh, there is maybe a ramp or uh, uh, additionally we have the stairs all right uh, let's okay so that 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 should work uh, next there's this one more we'll look at awful decline of new york South city subway system and this is uh, from 2017 so it's pretty old maybe some of these things are already uh, ha are already fixed mechanical uh, so freak overcrowding that that's one so overcrowding let's add that and overcrowding so that is uh, how many passengers you can uh, how can can a, 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 a car can accommodate signal gaps 
rickety tracks uh, track fires so that that's that's another one track fires have increased then these are some of the nice pictures you can take a look at and this is um, trains break down constantly so this, this is from 1960s era so what we may be able to if there is breakdown maintenance so what types of cars are are more prone to breakdown uh, what stations uh, uh, have uh, the have a uh, wheelchair access and elevators i think that that that's about it and then what we have all right so that that's what we have and additionally we could look at the wikipedia page for this so if we go to you type wiki that's the new york city subway and if you type problems it will give us a transit crisis so that that's another wikipedia page and here what we have is the uh, picture so deteriorating a subway station so uh, we can that that will come under maintenance uh, so maintenance i think that that should be fine i'm just going to uh, copy what is here walls etc and any other things we can look at uh, we'll take a look into those lack of funds signal and work zone work zone slowdowns bus problems uh, uh, so maybe we may have information about where the buses are so how bus connectivity maybe bus connectivity uh, could be there and think that that's that's what we have 2020 developments so this is important uh, uh, abundance of shuttered entry points uh, was it, was, this is a lot of information here and and will result in 40 percent service cuts massive layoffs budget cuts so that that's post covid issues there uh, 17000 self identified frequent iron uh, riders were more concerned with increased crime than with covid 19 transmission on subway so crime is uh, definitely an issue at the moment and finally emergency ended state emergency ended in 21 previously being renewed uh, bus redesigns etc okay so these are the uh, real world uh, if we want to say that uh, real world problems so these are the real world questions that we have and based on this information we can formulate some other questions and we'll we can try and do that as we go through the data set uh, but for now uh, some of the questions that we can look into are uh, uh, we have listed three here and we can create a lot more questions uh, for example what is the carrying passenger capacity passenger capacity of each uh, train or each train and i think what we'll do is we'll uh, hold hold off on creating the questions until we see the data 